Hi, South Point friends. I want to address a question many of us might be thinking about, and here's the question. What happens on Wednesday? You see, the stats tell me that almost 50% of you will feel disappointed, angry, and hurt as a result of who wins on Tuesday here in America. And I get it. This election year has been extremely polarizing, and it's created division among family and close friends. Here's my hope for today. It's to remind us of a following truth that I think might help us navigate that question. And it's this. You can love God, Jesus, and the Bible and vote for one party. And you can love God, Jesus, and the Bible and vote for the other party. You see, at South Point, we understand that in our current political system, not one party fully represents all of what God cares about. So we're not concerned with who you voted for. However, at South Point, we do passionately care about one thing, and this thing mattered deeply to Jesus. It's Jesus' command to love others the way that he loved us. He tells us this in the eyewitness account of the Gospel of John, John 13, 34, and 35, and I'm going to read it to us today, and it says this, A new command I give you, love one another. And here's what I see about this. It's not a suggestion. And he doesn't just tell us to love the way we want to be loved. He says, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. You see, Jesus tells us that the key thing people should associate Jesus followers with is not a political platform or a political point of view, but the behavior of loving our neighbor. So when we wake up Wednesday, it shouldn't be our disappointment or our happiness that determines our response in that moment. It should be our love for our neighbor that drives our response. So here's my hope and prayer for Wednesday. It's that you, me, all of us will take care of how we use our words, both on digital platforms and in person in this tense season. To quote Pastor Craig Rochelle, he says this, regardless of which party holds office, God holds the world in his hand. There is one thing that we can control, and it's how we treat others in this season of discord. So here's my hope, that we'll love others, even those we disagree with in such a way that honors God and points people to Jesus. You see, at South Point, we believe there's something that transcends politics and division, and his name is Jesus. So let us love well and never forget, you matter deeply to God.